Croiso power up to the Big Game Big Deals and Tokyo Game Show PSN sale. This is another sale where in general they're not great. A lot of the games are the worst version of the game to buy, that don't include all of the DLC, and they're the base games mostly. So be careful what you buy in these sales, you gotta be very careful what you're picking up. But don't worry, everything in this video is great. I've gone through and found some really cool games for you to try out, and you can save a load of money on them as well. So don't forget to subscribe if you like finding cool games to play, and saving a lot of money as well. You're welcome here anytime. Okay, this sale ends on the 27th of September, so that'll be your last day to pick up these deals. Let's look at the games. First up, we have Abyss Odyssey Extended Dream Edition. It was released in 2015, so it's 8 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the low price of £2.39, which is really great, as this edition includes enhanced graphics and a new online PvP mode as well, so again, the best version of the game for a really good price. This 2D side-scrolling RPG is set in Santiago, Chile, and it's made by a local indie dev, where it follows a group of heroes fighting to reach a warlock whose dreams are infecting reality. It features unique Art Nouveau graphics and a character from Chilean myth. So if you're interested in that area of the world, this might really pique your interest. It's definitely a very unique indie game and it looks pretty interesting to me. So if you're a fan of side-scrolling RPGs or you like really interesting indie games, you'll probably really enjoy this game, so why not take a look at it? And if you've never played a side-scrolling RPG before, then I'm not sure I'd recommend starting with this one. It's not a bad one, but you can get much better AAA ones for similar price on sale, so you might be better off starting there instead. And if you don't want to miss them, subscribe and I'll help you find them when they go on sale. We have a point-and-click adventure next, Encodia. It was released in 2021, so it's only two years old, and it's on a 90% discount for the low price of £2.49, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really fantastic price for such a cool and interesting looking game. This game is set in Berlin 2062, where Tina, a young homeless orphan, struggles to survive with her only friend, a robot guardian named Sam53. But after she discovers a message from her father to finish his work and save the world, an incredible adventure soon awaits her. Point and click adventures aren't normally for everyone, they're a bit niche and the puzzles can be really obtuse sometimes, so they do frustrate and annoy people sometimes. Which is a shame because in general they're a really good game genre, and if the puzzles are mostly done well, then the games can be really good, especially if the story's interesting as well. And this game looks like a great example. The funny guardian robot looks really cool, and I think you'll really add a lot of flair to the story and make it really enjoyable. Plus I like the storyline and the aesthetic. It's pretty different, unique and cool. So anyway, if you're a fan of point and click adventures, definitely check this one out. I think it's well worth the money, and it really interests me. And hey, if you've never played a point and click adventure before, then you can get other ones cheaper than this. So I'm not sure I'd recommend starting with this one, unless you're really intrigued by the story. If you like the look of it, it's worth checking out. But if you're not bothered about the story or theme, you can pick up a different point and click adventure for cheaper. So subscribe and I'll help you find another one when they come on sale again. We have a really cool and unique game next, Joe Dever's Lone Wolf Console Edition. It was released in 2016, so it's 7 years old, and it's on a 90% discount for the low price of £1.19, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a dirt cheap price for such a cool and interesting looking game. And this version of the game includes all 4 acts of the game, remastered for consoles, so again the complete game, and the best version of the game as well, which is great. This is a very unique RPG, where you get to explore a dark remake of the legendary Kai Lord, Lone Wolf, as you experience a brand new adventure written by Joe Dever himself. It features text-based storytelling, with 3D combat and puzzle sections, and it also includes a range of abilities to choose from, and multiple choices to make during the story, for more replayability. Now, the reason this is unique is that they're based on a Choose Your Own Adventure book series that was really popular back in the day. I remember these as a kid. Not a lot, but I did play them, and I really enjoyed them as a kid. It was a new and cool thing at the time, and these days, they don't exist anymore. But if you're a fan of the genre, or these books in particular, you'll probably get a lot of nostalgia from this game. It's definitely not your typical RPG, with a lot of text-based reading and adventuring, with the 3D combat and that thrown in to mix it up along the way. So if that doesn't sound great to you, you might want to pick this up. But hey, if you're a fan of the original book series, or you like Choose Your Own Adventure books, or you're just a fan of the character and you remember him from the olden days, then definitely take a look at this. It's a very weird and unique experience that you're not going to be able to get anywhere else. So take a look if you like the sound of it. And hey, if you've never heard of Joe Dever or Lone Wolf, then I'm not sure I'd recommend this game. It's very different and unique, so if you like the sound of that, definitely take a look. But if not, it's very different, it's very unique. It may not be for everyone. 
But hey, if you like the look of it, definitely check it out. You won't find another game like this around, that's for sure. Lost Words Beyond the Page is our next game. It was released in 2021, so it's two years old, and it's on a 90% discount for the low price of £1.19, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a crazy low price for such a cool looking game. In this adventure platformer, you get to explore the personal diaries of a young girl named Izzy, as you experience an adventure through a fantasy land, where words have real magical powers. It features a story written by Rihanna Pratchett, daughter of the famous Terry Pratchett. Yeah, I didn't think that either, I googled it, and it was right, that was her. And her dad's massively famous, so if she's got a tenth of his talent, this'll be a really good story. Other than that, it looks like a really cool and interesting adventure platformer, so if you're a fan of platforming games, or adventure games as well, you should definitely take a look at this one. It's definitely different and cool, and it's got some real writing heritage behind it as well. And if you couple that with the fact that it's won a ton of awards, and is highly acclaimed by anyone that reviews it, then you should definitely check this out if you like this sort of genre. It looks really cool. I'm surprised I haven't heard about it before now. And hey, if you haven't played an adventure platformer before, then at this price, you should definitely check this out. It's a really good game, highly acclaimed by a massively famous writer. You can't ask for much more at this price, really. It looks like an amazing place to start. Why not check it out? You may just find your new favourite genre. Next up is The Evil Within. It was released in 2014, so it's 9 years old, and it's on a 75% discount for the price of £3.99, which is really great for such a cool AAA game. In this survival horror, while investigating a scene of mass murder, Detective Sergeant Sebastian Castellanos is pulled into a nightmarish world full of horrid creatures. With limited resources, you must fight for your very survival. This game got mixed reviews when it came out, and from what I can tell, it was because of the expectations of the people that were hyping it up. But anyone that played it and hadn't checked any of the hype before, loved it. It got really good reviews, and a load of people said it's a really great game. So if you're a fan of survival horrors, you should definitely check this out. It's got great reviews, and a load of people that played it really enjoyed it. So why not take a look at it? I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun. And hey, if you haven't played a survival horror before, then I'm not sure if I'd recommend starting here. It's a good game at a good price, but there's so many survival horror games around, and you can get some really big legendary AAA ones at a really good discount sometimes. So it's up to you really. This is a great game, but if you'd rather start with a legendary game, then subscribe, and you won't miss them when they go on sale next. A puzzle game next, The Spectrum Retreat. It was released in 2018, so it's 5 years old, and it's on a 65% discount for the low price of £3.49, which is pretty great. In this game, you are a guest of the robot-operated Penrose Hotel, where you must explore the mysteries of the hotel by solving colour-based puzzles to reach higher levels of the hotel and find out what's going on. I bought this game ages ago and completed it, and I absolutely loved it. The story's pretty interesting, and it may not be the best story around, but the puzzles are really great, and the gameplay's really cool. I'm colourblind, and even I managed to deal with the puzzles. I'm a big fan of puzzle games if you know me by now, and I really enjoyed this game. It's a really cool quality game, at a good price. So if you're a fan of puzzle games, definitely check this one out. I really enjoyed it, and I love these sorts of games. And hey, if you've never played a puzzle game before, then this is a really good game to start with. It may not be one of the biggest ones around, but it's at a really good price, and the puzzles are pretty good, and they're not massively infuriatingly difficult, like some of the puzzle games can get towards the end. So if you've always wanted to try one, why not check this one out? It's really great, and I think you'd really enjoy it. Up next is my star buy, the Talos Principle Deluxe Edition. It was released in 2015, so it's 8 years old, and it's on a 90% discount for the low price of £2.49, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a fantastic deal for such an amazing game. It's very rarely on sale, and it's very rarely on sale anywhere near this price either. This is a really great deal, especially as this edition includes all of the DLC as well, so you're getting the complete version of the game for a rock bottom price, so you can't ask for much more really. In this puzzle game, you awake in a simulation of mankind's greatest ruins, and as you explore while solving puzzles and collecting block pieces, you must uncover more about the simulation and its hidden secrets, hoping to escape and find your way back to the real world. I picked up this game a while back and I completed it, and I really enjoyed it. At the beginning, the puzzles are pretty run-of-the-mill, but as you get going and you explore more of the world, they get really cool and interesting, and they're really challenging as well. There's a few of them that are really difficult, and it'll take you a long time to complete them. So if you're a fan of puzzle games like me, and you enjoy challenging ones, then you should definitely check this out. I really enjoyed this game, and it's really cool. And especially because they've just recently announced the second one, you might want to pick this one up now, so that you're ready to play the sequel when that comes out as well. 
I'd highly recommend this game. Like I said, it's my star buy. It's a really good puzzle game with all of the content included at a really cheap price. You can't ask for much more. Definitely check it out if you like puzzle games. And hey, if you've never played a puzzle game before, this is a really good place to start. It's an interesting one, and the puzzles are amazing. If you've always wanted to check one out, you can't go far wrong with this one, especially at this price. Like I said, it's my star buy. If you've always been interested in a puzzle game, then why not check this one out? I think you'd really enjoy it if you gave it a chance. And the final game I have for you is Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown and Tekken 7 DLC. I've shortened that title, but it's still long. <laughs> It was released in 2022, so it's only a year old, but the game's older than that really. This is just the newest iteration of it, and it's on a 70% discount for the price of £7.49, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a pretty great deal, as this bundle includes the ultimate remastered version with HD graphics and a huge amount of cosmetics and background music tracks as well, including all of the Tekken 7 DLC, so you can make all of your characters and even the game graphics look like Tekken. You know, if you're too cheap to buy the Tekken game as well I guess. In this fighting game, you get to challenge the greatest fighters in the world. In the ultimate remaster of the arcade classic, it features classic game modes like arcade, versus, rank match, training, and even the new spectator mode as well. Along with custom online tournaments and leagues, which means you can make your own tournaments and leagues for you and your friends, which is really cool. I wish more fighting games did this, because playing online against strangers is usually a pretty horrible experience if you're not a professional fighting game player. But hey, with this, you can just make your own leagues and tournaments for you and your friends, keeping it fun for everyone. And finally, the game includes character customization, and I mean real customization. You've seen the screenshots, you can make characters look like anything. It looks really deep and complex, and really cool. It's not many games that let you customize characters this much. So if you like fighting games, and you haven't played a virtual fighter in a while, this is the best one around, and it doesn't look like they're making a new one anytime soon. So definitely check this out, especially if you've never played a virtual fighter before. They were pretty big back in the day, and they're not heard of much these days. So it might be cool to check one out. And hey, if you've never played a fighting game before, then I wouldn't recommend starting with this one. It's a really good one, but you can get other AAA ones cheaper than this. So you're probably better off starting with one of them instead. So if you like the sound of that, then subscribe, and you won't miss them when they go on sale next. And that's all the games I have for the Big Game Big Deals and Tokyo Game Show combined sale. I know they're not really combined, but on the PSN store, they've still got that bug where it's mixing them all in together, so as long as that keeps happening, I'm only going to do one video, because I don't have time to cross-reference them with the website. That's way too much effort. Hey, and just a heads up, don't buy the PlayStation Portal. I'm not going to go into detail right now, but it basically does nothing, and it's expensive. So if you've been thinking about getting one, definitely do some research into it before you buy, because I think a lot of people are going to be buying it and returning it within the week. <laughs> anyway, what did you think of the games I picked? Did I pick good ones or did I pick bad ones? And what about the star buy? Did it deserve it? Or should some other game have got it instead? Leave all your complaints down in the comments and we can talk about it later. I hope you guys found some games you're interested in, but more importantly I hope you saved a lot of money. I'll see you guys in the next sale. Hoyle Vower.